all right so hi guys this is jackie from techjackie.com and welcome to another video on seo first of all if you're brand new to this channel make sure to press the subscribe button down below so whenever we release a new seo video like this you get notified right so in today's video i like to shoot uh, quick videos on you know uh things that i've observed so far right in the may core update or google core um update on may this year right so uh if you don't know you know like on may 5th um you know google released their uh, second core update for this year right up you know after their january core update uh which you know basically what they do in these core updates is to you know make uh, different changes different uh, algorithm updates to various aspects right um with regards to the search result and the aim is to basically improve the quality of the search results right so that's basically what the google core algorithm core update is all about and this type of updates doesn't specifically target any sites right doesn't target any niche in specific but rather it affects the whole uh, search results as a whole so um the reason why i'm making this video today is you know simply because this is actually you know uh, one of the biggest update i've seen so far right um throughout the year like since last year or you know the previous year like that like that it's been like the one of the biggest so far and i'm pretty sure many of you watching this video have probably uh, observed this as well right and many of the in seo expert in industry has you know a kind of um kind of you know exclaimed that this is like one of the biggest updates since 2003 right so that's why you know i'm very keen on to make this video and one another reason is you know my site got hit the <laughs> the hardest ever right since it has started around last year it was started and this uh, update basically you know hammered my site right and you know some of the sites which i also manage as well so i'm pretty sure most of you watching this also must have got hammered but you know um like congratulations to those of you who have you know uh, increased in or improved in your traffic right so um e either way you know like whether you have the uh, you have got hammered or you have improved make sure you comment down your website down below right so i'll you know take a look m into more number of sites so i can analyze uh, the thing more right like what basically this update this uh, specifically this may core update is all about but in today's video, I'm just going to kind of go through the things which I've observed so far uh, with regards to this update. So this update, uh, you know, basically uh, this is one of the sites which you can use is, you know, uh, to basically get the ne latest news about any Google Core updates or Google updates in general. It's called as scroundtable.com. If you don't know about it, make sure you go and, you know, check it out. As you're going to see here, this is the post regarding the May Core update, right? may 20 core update so this is the thing here you can check out the article and you know you'll be able to read a bunch of people's comments on you know the the effects right uh, on this effect uh, on this update so as you can see here um there'll be like a bunch of comments uh down below okay so you can go ahead and check them out so uh like let me as you can see right so this is the you know the comment section many people i've went through most of the comments here and as well as you know different facebook groups which you know i've been a part of and definitely you know this update has done more harm than good uh you know uh, more than i've ever seen before so uh, just a bit of you know showing down my site you can see so this is my site it's been growing you know since it was launched right it's going very strong and boom on may 5th right when the update was released bam as you can see right uh impressions drop drastically also the clicks as you can see so totally hammered my site is completely you know 100 percent white hat never used black hat uh, technique before um no pbns nothing all our quality backlinks quality content and has been growing very steadily as you can see here over the year but you know after just one night it crashed like you know as you can see so anyway you know uh, this is pretty common right um you you tend to get uh, hit by updates like this all the time but the reason is because you know this update seems to be the hard the biggest one i've seen so that's why you know i wanted to make a video on this so uh 
here are the three main things which I've observed so far. Now take keep 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 that in mind that you know keep in mind that uh, although uh, at this point at the moment I'm recording this video, the update seems to be died down or you know seems to have stopped. But it doesn't mean that you know it is fully rolled out or fully you know uh, live. It is live, but it is it may not be you know uh, the latest version of the update. Now what I mean by this is you know usually after the update went live for you know after a couple of weeks let's say about two to three weeks google tend to you know release another set of uh, of updates to kind of maybe roll back or fix the things or you know maybe tweak the updates a little bit here and there so overall it may take up to almost a month right before you could really conclude as to what the update is all about usually uh, three weeks to four weeks which is about three weeks to one month then you'll be able to you know get the idea of what the update is actually all about right so that's basically the thing so at this point um if any one of you are planning to you know make any changes to your website don't do it anything right now because you know you're gonna simply uh shoot in the blind right so you're definitely not not gonna see any uh things uh any improvement or if you do see it may just be a luck right so and you know in most of the cases you might you know may even make the matter worse as well so don't make any changes just wait right just wait uh, until you know it is quite confirmed from the industry and i'll probably make um, another video on the update of this as well as to what the update is really all about okay so here are the three things right that i've observed so far in the May core update you know after looking at my website looking at some of the websites that i've managed and looking at you know and you know been observing in the in, in the various seo groups and you know with the ex various seo experts as well so the first thing which you know we have seen with the, this update is you know more authoritative sites right more authoritative sites sites which has you know kind of like high number of quality backlinks or basically authority sites in general seems to you know do have done very really well in this update so more authoritative uh sites um have done really well in the update right in the update so basically you know the site which are like have high number of quality backlinks have high you know domain authority page authority something like that or you know site which you know basically like brand branded website right like forbes uh, nike all this very big 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 website or it could be you know let's say if you're in a very small niche then it could be a authoritative site in your niche which may have you know improved or done a really good like you know have improved in this update so this is the first thing so basically um you know like for for each update or you know the, the three basic pillar of seo is basically relevance uh authority and trust right so with this update uh google seems to dial the authority factors up a lot which basically means more authoritative sites will kind of win here even though their content may not be as relevant or as high quality as it as yours which you know um, may be a little bit less having a less authority than them but still you know they will kind of score a big win in this update simply because authority factor has come into play quite a lot in this update from what i've seen so far right so and uh, the percentage which i you know kind of like roughly is about 80 percent 80 percent um related to authority or basically you know 80 percent uh authority factor and 20 percent about you know relevant relevancy factor so basically you know you can think of like a switch right so basically google maybe like you know increase the authority factor by 80 percent and 20 percent on the relevancy factor so there's also a bunch of relevance relevancy uh related things that google kind of have done to their algorithm as well and trust basically comes with authority right so these two things are associated with each other so basically you know more is into the authority factor here so this is the first observations now now you know with this thing it it kind of makes sense you know like my site my site is not that much authoritative 
it doesn't have that much of backlinks means it's like a medium website medium authority website but the, uh, the relevancy factor is quite high right now uh there's an interesting thing as well like i've seen like more um super specific uh specific specific sites uh, seem to have done well in this update now what does this mean here is you know let's say so here here's the thing my site is about digital marketing so i talk about seo sem content marketing and social media marketing right now my site isn't just super specific to one of the few let's say super specific to seo or super specific to sem now that's why you know and since i have less authority than most of the you know competitors in my industry because as you already know right uh, digital marketing is a very competitive niche and most of the sites you know that are ranking are mostly you know authority site and when this updates usually deals with authoritative factor authority factor then you know simply i got hammered so if i'm not a super specific site about something about a specific topic and since i have a very me mediocre authority that's why i got hit the hardest right so if any of you watching right now if your site aren't that authoritative right let's say in your space right this is remember this varies from niche to niche it differs from you know niche to niche industry to industry so let's say if you're in a quite medium competitive niche and your site isn't that much authority and you know there are a bunch of authoritative sites in your space and if your site isn't super specific about something as well then you tend to get hit the hardest right so that's what i've been observed uh, so far because you know this is uh, one of the thing as you can see so this is like let's say for this keyword right so this keyword actually basically it was uh, ranked by many of the authority website um as you can see although this website is domain authority of 14 it has 387 backlinks as you can see this one is 29 right domain authority this one is 24 uh, 18 backlinks this one is 38 72 backlinks but then there's this one site which came up uh which you know as you can see here most of the sites are you know basically all the sites have domain authority graded on 15 but this website had domain authority of only six and only seven backlinks but this website prior to the update it was on the second page around second or third spot right but then if you analyze this website this is basically you know it's not just about this website this is one of the examples which i was able to find but uh which i was able to you know to identify but then there are other sample examples as well right so with with the similar style side so if you look at this website this website basically is all about you know this specific topic end of lease cleaning is super specific to this topic so if you you can go to this website it's moveclean.com.au you'll see that the entire website content is about this and you know they have like this much number of pages you can see i don't know like it could be more than 100 pages simply talks about end of lease in various locations so as you can see this is end of lease glenn huntley and then end of lease um this location right boolean so basically you know almost 100 plus pages are all about end of lease cleaning in melbourne location right so all these are melbourne suburbs so it is very super specific to this uh, keyword now prior to the update this website is this is an authority website of fantastic cleaners but then you know if you look at this website this website basically um kind of like you know they have all bunch of services it's not just about end of lease cleaning they have you know like various services so if i go to their melbourne section you see that um they have a bunch of you know cleaning services not just about end of lease cleaning so and but this site still does well simply because you know it is an authority site right and but this site is also somehow authority site but it's also very relevant to this topic as well and that's why i you know it's outranking this uh, this authority site so as you can see these are all the cleaning services so it's not just only about end of lease cleaning but you know this website initially as i said it was ranking on the second page now after this update it got boosted to this position so as you can see here uh 
relevancy factor has also been dialed up, right? The knob the, the has also been dialed up. Yes, important has been given more as well as authority factor. So authority factor basically means, you know, now you must be seeing more and more of high authority sites ranking in your niche, right? In your space. So that's the thing here. And the third thing, which is quite interesting as well, is that um, Google is now showing a maximum of one to two FAQ uh, results with FAQ schema. Now, you know, if you don't know what is FAQ schema is basically, you know, let's say like in this one, right? So in this one, so with the search, search results, you get this uh, FAQ uh, schema, as you can see here. As you can see, for this search results, uh, there are two FAQ schema being displayed. But then, you know, uh, I have implemented five FAQ schema on my articles, right? I have about 30 articles on my website and five of them are FA I have implemented FAQ schema on them. After this update, all of my FAQ schemas are gone, even though I have it uh, on the website. And even though before this update, the schema were still displaying. But after this update, everything was gone. And as well, I was seeing this with my competitors as well. Most of them have FAQ schema, which uh, prior to the update, they were showing perfectly in the SERPs, in the search results. But now they have also gone. So as you can see, this is one of the queries which I have. So this is one of the page which I have FAQ schema, as you can see. Initially it was showing, but now as you can see, it's not showing anymore in the search results. So it's completely gone here. So this is what I've also been observing that Google is now only, you know, showing max one to two results with FAQ schema. And, you know, this is kind of makes sense because FAQ schema is one of the things which, you know, like people have abused a lot. You know, like prior to the, uh, this update, you must have seen like, you know, many, many of the websites have implemented this and, you know, this kind of make them look larger in the search result, right? Like have a, um, more of the real estate on the search results. But I think Google has, you know, come up with the thing to kind of combat this kind of, you know, uh, like it, it's kind of like a spammy stuff now, right? So that's why they kind of fix this. So. Uh, basically, these are the three things which I've observed so far, and you know, if taking into cons uh, in the in the like number, then I'm seeing I think it's about eighty percent authority factor has been you know increased, and about twenty percent also relevancy factor has been decreased. So this update is ma mainly all about authority factor, but also relevancy factor also comes into play, right? So the page which has lots of backlinks, the domain which has lots of backlinks uh tend to be doing very very well with this update and the domain which are very super specific about something tend to either stay the same improve a little bit or even if they got hit may not be as much right may not be uh, a lot so uh these are the three things which i've observed so far now i really encourage you to please leave your site below whether you have got hit or you have improved so I can, you know, kind of dive deeper and see, you know, what it's really all about. But I'm pretty almost quite sure that it's somehow related to authority and relevancy a little bit. Um, but that's the thing, right? I like, I'm not saying that my observation is 100% correct, but this is what I've seen so far after, you know, like digging, uh, taking time and effort to dig, in, to dig into various sites which got hit, various sites which have improved and you know, all this, right? So that's all for it if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and i'll try to answer them as soon as possible thank you for watching see you in the next video